I'm going to recreate a product photo using only one light to show you that it's possible to take really cool product photos right at your home. Welcome to another video. If it's your first time here and you want to see more content like this and learn how to create your own videos, start now by hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on any future content. So I've been looking into doing some product photos for a while now. And after days of looking through pictures on Instagram and learning how to do them myself, I think I'm ready to recreate some of the photos that I've been looking at. Big shout out to Peter Lindgren here for inspiring me to make this video. If you don't know who who he is, surely go check him out. He's doing some amazing stuff at the moment. We need to make this bottle a bit more vivid and alive. And to do that, we're gonna light it from both sides to give it a bit more sense of depth. And then I'm gonna light the bottle from the back to get a nice glow into the beer. Because nobody wants to drink a beer that's not glowing, right? So I'm going to take these photos of my Sony a6300, but I'm going to use a Canon 50mm FD lens. That will give me a 75mm field of view. I also think the Sony a6300 takes amazing pictures and it would be perfect for taking these product photos. I'm only going to use one light for the shoot because I only have one light at the moment and I'm also a big believer to use what you have. So the light that I'll be using today is my Digital Photo YY120 LED light. I hope to show you that it is 100% possible to take these product photos using only one light. The next thing that you want to do is to remove the back label from the bottle. So why do we need to do this? We're going to do this because when you're trying to shine a light from the bottle, this is going to stop the light. So we need the light to be going through the bottle to make sure that a beer looks as good as it can be. Because you have to sell your product to the viewers at the end of the day, so always make sure it can look as good as possible. So I'll start by scraping the label off using my small knife. So now that I'm done with the beer bottle, what's the next step? Well, I'm not 100% done with the bottle just yet. I would like to make the bottle look frosted and we want the beer to look cold and obviously it's not cold right now. To fake that, I'm going to spray the beer with a matte acrylic spray. So when we spray the bottle with this spray, it will look a bit frosted. And it's also going to help the light that's hitting the sides for the light to be a bit more spread out. Prepping your bottle is also really important and you want to make sure that there are no fingerprints on your bottle. So just try to be as careful as you can be when handling your bottle. Also make sure that when you are buying your bottle, try to look for one where the label is centered and not broken. This will really affect your picture in the end. So you always want to make sure to get the perfect bottle of beer. Now you can see that it is in a much better condition as before. So just be careful when handling your product. But now it's time to spray this bottle to get our frosted look. Now this next step is something that I saw a fellow YouTuber did and it turned out to be really cool. So big ups to Peter Lindgren again for these tips. So to make this bottle look even colder than it is, we can add some fake ice to it. But that's something that I just don't have laying around here. So I'm going to try this diaper trick to make ice that I saw in Peter Lindgren's video. So diapers have absorbing materials in it because it's supposed to absorb fluids. So it's going to absorb the water and then create crystals and those crystals are going to be our fake ice. You just have to put water inside of the diaper, cut it open and boom, you've got your fake ice. So next step, let's set up our table. The table that I'm using here is just a normal kitchen table, so nothing fancy. And again, always use what you've got. There's no need to go out and buy a new fancy table. Now I'm just going to clean up the table and place the bottle on the surface and try to make sure that the bottle is perfectly centered. So I'm actually quite excited to see how this is going to turn out because it's something that I've never done myself and I'm really eager to see what the end product is going to turn out like. So I really hope that you guys are going to like this video. So when you are doing any type of product photography or photos in general, I would recommend that you always shoot in manual mode to get comfortable with using your camera settings, such as shutter speed, f-stop and ISO to learn how to expose your photos perfectly. 
each time. And it's a great way to learn. For myself, this took quite a while to get comfortable with, but I always end up getting much better results in manual mode. I'm also using a manual lens for the shoot, so no autofocus here. Now it's time to turn off all the lights and try to get this place as dark as possible. I am doing this during the day, so I would suggest you try doing it during the night time. But if you can't, just make sure to get your place as dark as possible. So now I'm going to start taking the photos. In total, I might take six, but let's see what happens. So just also make sure you shoot this in manual focus to have the same focus point for each photo, since you will have to layer these photos and mask things up later in Photoshop. So manual focus, here we go. To mask off the light, I'm using a simple whiteboard and holding this to mask off the background to make sure there are no light coming into the background. So first shot, here we go. For the second shot, I'm going to do the same thing just on the left hand side of the photo. Now I'm just going to light it from the top to get some of the light on the beer cap. Now I'm going to light the inside of the bottle and I'm just going to warm up the temperature a bit on my LED light before it was set to 56,000 Kelvin and now I'm going down to 33,000 Kelvin. So just simply place the light behind the bottle to make the beer glow and drinkable. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump into Photoshop and open up all of these photos. All of these photos were taken in RAW format. I like to shoot in RAW so that I can edit my photos a bit more when needed to. But you can also shoot in JPEG if your camera does not offer any RAW capabilities. Or if you're not comfortable yet editing RAW files. Okay, so here I have seven photos open in Photoshop and it's important to have your background layer on the bottom. So deselect your layers and make sure that only your background layer is visible. You want to make sure that your background layer is going to be the only layer that is visible to begin with here. So if if we turn the backlight on you will see that we can only see that picture. But let's mark the layer and go down to the layer mask. And then I'm going to press command I to invert the layer. Then we're going to pick the brush and make sure that the color on the brush is white. Then we are going to start painting in the middle. Now you can start seeing the backlight coming through the bottle as we brush. You can then go to your layers mode and click lighten so that your backlight layer won't be visible anymore. The only thing you will see now is where you have brushed. Next, let's click on our third picture and hit the layer mask and again press Ctrl I to invert your layer. Again, make sure your brush's color is white to brush the light from the third picture. If you want to brush some of the lights back in again, just change your brush's color to black. Now let's select a picture for the right light. Click layer mask, control I to invert the layer. Start by brushing the edges of the bottle and make sure your brush's color is on white. And again, go to layers mode and click lighten to hide your layer. Now onto our picture with our left light. Follow the same steps as before. Layer mask, control I to invert and start brushing your left hand side of the picture to see the light on the bottle. Again, go to layer modes and click on lighten to hide the picture and continue to brush until you are happy with it. Moving on to the label of the beer bottle, and you've guessed it. Click layer mask, hit control I to invert and start brushing in the label so that we can see it clearly on the image. Again, go to layer modes and click lighten to hide the layer and continue to brush. The last layer will be our top layer where I shine the light onto the beer cap. Remember to go to layer mode and select lighten to hide the picture. So now we're getting a rough image and I must say it's looking quite good so far. But I still have a few things that I would like to do with this picture, so hanging there, we're almost done. I think we would need to light up the label layer as it's a bit dark now. To do this, click on a layer and create a new adjustment layer. Then select the curves and brighten it up.
Then hit Ctrl I to invert and go back to the brush and make sure it's on white and start brushing in the light again. After that, hit Ctrl G to clip your layer so that you will only work on the label and not affect anything else. I also want to add some saturation onto the label. And to do this, add a new adjustment layer and hit Ctrl G to clip the layer so that it will only change your label's layer. Next, I'll add an adjustment layer on my first background lights layer. Hit Ctrl G to clip it and then I'll bump up the exposure just a bit. After that, I'll go to my second lights layer and do the exact same thing to bump up the exposure a bit more. Now let's give this photo a full Y5 crop so that you'll be able to post it on Instagram. I'm really happy with how this had turned out so far, but would like to add some minor adjustments to this photo. And to do this, I'll go to the top layer and go to adjustments and add a nice color lookup to this picture. When adding a color lookup, you would want to adjust your opacity and I'm just going to bring it down to where it looks good for me. But again, you can adjust it to your liking. And so far, I'm happy with where it is at now. In the end, I went with the Fuji F125 LUT. Now I'm gonna go back to my background layer to change up the exposure and to do this, simply click on your background layer, then hit curves, and then I'm gonna drag it down to make it a bit darker. You can also create a new adjustment layer if you want to change the background color. Just go to Hue vs Saturation. Also remember to hit Ctrl G to clip it to your background layer so that you will only change the background's color. Now I'm just going to do some final tweaks to this picture. Okay, so there you have it. Now this was the first time ever for me trying out something like this and I think it turned out quite good. Next time there would definitely be a few things that I would change, but for what it is, I'm quite happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully you have learned something new today. And to see that it is very possible to do these product photos at home using only one light. So hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and please leave any of your comments down below. I would love to hear what you think. And as always, remember, be creative.